Hi there everyone, today I'm creating a decor piece which can also be converted into a card. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I will be using the Garden Picks 3D die set to create my project. I initially planned on making a card but then I decided to use the thin frame die set and create a decor piece instead. I've already die cut all the layers for the roses and I use the 9 by 12 watercolor pad for this. I will use artist watercolor to color the die cuts and use shades of reds, oranges and a bit of coral. For the first layer, to get a really dark shade of red, I'll first add water. Now you can use your spray directly and spritz water onto the die cuts or use a more controlled approach by using a paintbrush like I am doing. I will mix rock collection to the red cosmos pigment to get a really deep shade. I will also dry between layers to increase the intensity of the color and to build up layers of color. For the second layer, I'll start by adding the leftover color first. Once I've done that, I'll take pigment directly from the pan. And for variation, I will add a bit of orange to this too. I will add it as a stroke. I decided to make the color darker, realizing that most of it will be hidden under the layer. So I will repeat that orange stroke thing again on the third layer. You won't be able to tell much difference amongst the layers, but in person the variation of coral, red and orange looks really cool. The topmost layer is going to be the lightest. I'll color all the layers in the same manner, sometimes adding more of orange and sometimes more of coral. I'll just put this together and show you how it looks. I'll fast forward and color the other flower for you that uses different uh, colors on layers than the first flower. The shades are red cosmos, warm and cozy and tea party. So I use the three shades in different concentrations and variation on all the layers. The tiny flowers and its layers, these I will color in warm yellows and light oranges. For the leaves, as they are dainty, I spritz them with water. The first layer is rainforest watercolor a really bright and beautiful green. To add interest to this layer, I will add a bit of green meadows pigment to it as well and then some tropical forest watercolor. For the top layer, I'll start with rainforest watercolor, then add more pigment onto it of green meadows. To add variation among leaves, I will also add seashore pigment onto some leaves and this does make a lot of difference. Now all my die cuts are dry, I'll put all these together. You can use liquid adhesive or the alternate glue tape. The guide is available at the back of the packaging. I also used it to adhere the smaller pieces. Please follow it if you do get stuck somewhere. I will use the thin frame 3D die set and it gives you two die cuts but I wanted a larger square piece so I die cut the larger one four times for my four sides. These come with scored lines so I'll follow the score lines and fold along those lines. I'll fast forward this for you. I'll do one on screen for you 
my cough stock is very sturdy so it's a little difficult for me to score use your scoreboard to go over the score lines if the case is same with you now i'll cut a panel of 5.5 by 5.5 inches and what you do is you adhere the piece onto one side with a strong adhesive. Now apply adhesive onto the second piece and tuck in the straight edge into the angled edge. Make sure your corners are aligned. It is my first time doing this so I did mess up slightly. It's only noticeable at the very end at an angle. But it's very easy to put together. Now follow the same step to adhere the third side and then the fourth one will fit into the ends of both the right and the left sides. Looks nice, doesn't it? I think this uh, feels sturdy enough to me for mailing too. I'll arrange my florals now and I think I don't need foam tape as they are quite dimensional. Plus because I use the 9 by 12 watercolor cardstock, it's quite thick and provides that extra dimension too. That is why I always prefer the 9 by 12 watercolor cardstock by Altenew for the 3D flowers including the craft flower layer dye series. Once I'm done arranging the florals, I will add splatters of white chalk paint. I will try for them to be as fine as they can be. Use a thin brush if you want yours to be fine as well. If you want yours to be thick, you can use either a bigger brush or pick up a lot of paint on your brush. Now I want to show you this on its side. See how the flowers don't pop out and uh, are within the dimensions of the frame, the depth that is. So this is easily mailable. I think in a bubble envelope it will um, be more secure. You can also adhere a pocket behind it. For example, here I have a full size pocket. You can even use the pocket banner die, adhere two of these together on the sides and at the bottom to make a pocket and stick it behind the frame to add a note card in it. Also, I will use this tiny easel that we get um, here to display this. I am sure it is available where you live too. It comes in different shapes and sizes and materials. I didn't add any sentiment on mine. You can use die cuts to spell out home, love or whatever you want to. I have not yet decided what I want. So I'm leaving mine blank. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello there! Did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Altenew YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye!